Hi, submarine friends. Well, it's uh, welded. I'm quite pleased. So you can see the burn mark here. So the inside ring is now welded in place, both sides. Now, I should touch on one thing. What is the most dangerous part about building your own submarine? Some people would think, well, diving the submarine, it's gonna get stuck in the bottom of the lake and you're gonna drown and die, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. The most dangerous part of building a submarine is building the submarine. This is, this is uh, pretty serious stuff. Like this piece here is probably 750 pounds. Now, I have it hanging on my chain hoist off my steel beam in the shop. And you know, some people might be tempted to just go underneath it and weld it uh, without shoring it properly. You know, I see, you know, in my industry, I jack up houses and move houses for a living. So of course I have like a thousand of these blocks. So it's really easy for me to shore things up properly, but I see people doing some very, very scary stuff with lack of shoring and lack of support like this. So one thing I can say is I'm extremely careful. I'm always working all by myself. Uh, my wife may be home, but you know, she's, uh, she's in a whole separate building. She wouldn't know if I got hurt. If she hears an extremely loud bang of some sort, she'll come over and check on me. But you can't mess around with this. Like this is really serious. You take the main submarine, when this is welded on, it's 8,000 pounds and it's round. So it wants to roll away on you. And so honestly, the most dangerous part of building your own submarine is building it, not diving it. Anyways, that's where I'm at today. So now I'm gonna go grab the forward ballast tank and move it in so I can start the uh, final welding and grinding on that. Uh, it's only partly welded together. Um, so now I can finish that. Maybe I'll finish it today. Ciao.